All right, guys, you asked, and we are back in the car going on a field trip. I'm so excited. We're going back to the dollar store today because I have another question. Can you sublimate on dollar store items? And Dylan, you do not have your seatbelt on. I'm about to pull over. I'm gonna pull over. This is not a good thing. I'm pulling over. Hmm. Oh, he buckled. Okay. Dylan buckled his seatbelt, so we're back on our journey. I did pull over. Um, Courtney has scouted out sublimation items. She's actually in the back seat because she's a micromanager. We'll find out. If you guys didn't know, Courtney's a micromanager. Um, I don't know if she's mic, so I don't know if you could hear, but she she's worked really hard to make this a quality production. Um, there's been a little pre-prep for this, but this is my genuine first time going to the dollar store to look for sublimation items. So I think it's gonna work out. I'm very excited. Do you all sublimate anything from the dollar store? Go ahead and drop us a comment. Let me know because I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with not only how things turn out, but there's so many, I think, I assume, because we can sublimate on wood, the fabrics, I mean, all kinds of different things. So let's go find out what we can find at the Dollar Tree today. Okay, we have made it to the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. Now, it's the holiday season and Hobby Lobby is like packed like sardines, like sardines. <sighs> and the Dollar Tree looks pretty busy too. But we're here to get done. Let's go. Courtney doesn't want to be in the video. It's so funny. <laughs> All right, we're at Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar. Can you supplement gift wrap? You don't know. Okay. There's so many items. I already have a cart. Oh my gosh. These are seriously like sold out everywhere. So we have to get the elves. All right, we're gonna go this way. Dylan, look, they moved our vinyl. Here's our vinyl now. We're actually gonna do another video while we're here too. So you'll have to check out that video for Cricut supplies. Now, next up, we're getting some of these wooden ornaments because believe it or not, you can actually sublimate on wood. So this is a great place to get all of these different ones. They have snowflakes, they have little Santas and trees. So that's pretty cool. We'll go down the next hall. Ribbon? I don't think so. Mm. All right, so we're gonna try to do some sublimation items that we aren't sure about. So we're gonna get some of these tins. Um, they're really cool. You could do like little gift baskets in here and all sorts of things. So we're gonna get a couple of these just to test as well. Trying to see what other things we could sublimate. Um, Cause the sublimation, there are so many different things you can actually sublimate. Now it would be really cool if we could sublimate on pom poms. I'm gonna leave them. <laughs> I almost thought you could sublimate on balloons, but it's like heat. It would melt. So we're going to get a few dry erase boards because I think we could do the um, sublimation on dry erase boards. Now again, you could also sublimate on the frames. So if you wanna get some of these frames, I mean, these used to be like only at Michael's, like back when I started crafting a lot. So to have them at the Dollar Store, like Dollar Tree's getting crafty. I love it. Anything down here? So we're also gonna get some of these, um, probably just this one right here to see if you could sublimate. Now, where you can't sublimate on darker colored fabric, it probably won't work great but um it's a cosmetic bag and i think it technically would be able to work it's just odd because of the colors 
All right, so we're gonna get, again, some lanyards to test. This is the same material we were just talking about, so try to get lighter colored ones. And then we're also go get some of these hair, this little ponytail things. And then what else could we sublimate on? Oh my gosh, what if we sublimated on slippers? Okay, so I bought slippers when I bought my first house. I bought slippers for guests to wear. And I've seen multiple people do this. Let me tell you, nobody's gonna wear house slippers at your house. So they sat in my garage. We're also gonna get some socks just to sublimate on. I really wanna sublimate on fuzzy socks, but they're, they're not the right color. So just got some slippers to test out. And then some microfiber cloths. I actually need these like at my computer all the time because I touch my computer screen all the time. So we're gonna get the white ones. <gasps> oh my gosh, a baby bib. Could we try a baby bib? Look at it. Oh my gosh. Yep, I did that. All right, so these are really good examples of light patterns and fabric that I think you could sublimate darker colors on and do something great. So like, say you have a baby girl coming that you know you're expecting, you put her name on this or a baby boy and put his name on this and you could stock up on these. I'm talking like really easy baby shower gifts, things like that. You could do the really fun stuff. You could put funny quotes on here. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So definitely, I think, I think these are gonna be a win. A bandana bib. Is your kid gonna wear a bandana bib? <laughs> All right, so this is a seasonal section. If you're watching this video in the summer, it probably won't apply. But definitely trying out some gloves. Definitely trying out this mitten. So any lighter color fabric and things like that, like polyesters and everything like that will be fantastic. So these will be really good. Snatching those. Turn around and you want to get an eyeglass. Ooh, an eyeglass place. Let's go back. I'm going backwards. Excuse me. Oh, could you sublimate on this? No. This is a pretty dark fabric. We'll find out. Now, a flower sack is 100% cotton. So I'm not even, I'm not, we're trying to find things that are not 100% cotton. So again, stick with the lighter colors. This is going to be something I think really. Um, fun to try to sublimate. It says it's 100% cotton, but I feel like you're gonna be able to sublimate on it, but who am I to say? I don't know. We're trying all of these, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now Dylan, this one seems a little different, but there's actually some really good gift ideas that you can do <laughs> with toilet paper. So you guys need to trust me, it's gonna work out. All right, my friends, so we grabbed a ton of different items. We just kind of ran through the store, grabbed things that we thought would work. So now let's head back to the office and we're gonna try these out. I'm super excited. Got it. Yes. Oh, oh my goodness, we did it. We did it, yeah. Oh, that was pretty heavy. All right, my friends, we are back from the Dollar Tree. We have everything laid out and there's a lot of different things that we are gonna try to figure out if we can sublimate from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you're not familiar with sublimation, it is where you take a special ink that you are going to print on special sublimation paper. Um, you print it out, you mirror it, 
This is what it's gonna look like. Definitely check out some of our other sublimation videos. We even have a full course for you to learn how to sublimate. It's called Maker's Gonna Sublimate. I'm gonna link it down below. It teaches you how to pick your printer, convert your printer. Everything you need to master sublimation is found in this course. So check it out. Um, it'll have a special price for you down there as well. So what we're going to do is just go through sublimating each of these items. We are using um, a mini easy press today, one of the smaller ones, six by seven, so not a full mini mini um, because most of this is pretty small you could use larger easy presses um, whatever heat source you want you can use for this it needs to be able to get up to 400 degrees so we're gonna go through sublimate all of this on the table and then we'll come back and kind of reveal all the different things and tell you what I think you should go and grab at the Dollar Tree yourself some things I think will work some may not so we'll find out let's go for it All right, my friends, we went through and sublimated all of these amazing items on the table. I tried to not peek too much so that we could look at them together. We're gonna go through, take a look at them, see what you guys think. So be ready to be dropping us some comments about what items you're gonna head to the Dollar Tree and try out. There's definitely some items that I would probably not buy again. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I wanted to start with the bucket. This is one of the most interesting ones. I used a mini easy press to just kind of take the heat and work its way over um, for all of these right here. So here is the reveal, very interesting. You can tell, this one's a really great one to tell why you need the evenly distributed heat. So up at the top of this right here, you can tell you know, it didn't get as much heat as towards the bottom, which is really interesting. But overall, I mean, you could make this work. You just have to be a little bit more careful and really probably give it more heat than you would think. So that one's really neat. Let's go ahead and take a look at these gloves. Let's peel these gloves up. Now guys, the heat resistant tape, you kind of have to just, you know, really just peel it up. <gasps> look at these, how neat. Now, one thing I can tell is that this right here, you could probably press it again because um, it's still very vibrant. So press okay, pretty cool, love that. So you can go ahead and peel this up and see that as well. So that is awesome. And then again with a different type of glove, look at this, oh my, look at this little mitten, guys. Oh my gosh, this is actually really vibrant. Um, so pretty impressive, love that. All right, coming on down. <gasps> These are the slippers we were talking about. So let's look at this. Turned out great. Okay, pretty neat. Look at this, so it's really fuzzy. So you could, I would recommend doing more things like these images up here, because as you can see, you have to be really careful when you, you know, it's fuzzy and things. So the text, when you move it around, doesn't look as great. It's when you can keep it like it was. So that would be a note for these. So I don't know if I would do too much sublimation on here just because it would be kind of hard to make it the same way as when it was sublimated. So that was interesting. Now these I'm very excited about. These look really cool. So let's peel these up. Holy cow. These are awesome. We did a beautiful cut fall that's fun. You could do this with a cut fall. You could do this with a font. Here's some other font work that we did from Makers Gonna Learn fonts. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Aiden, that's adorable. And let's do this monogram one right here. Holy cow, the sublimation worked great on this. I love it, it feels really good. The best part is sublimation, you're not worried about a choking hazard or anything like that, especially for the baby bib, which is really important. So we can peel up the microfiber one. This one did okay. It didn't give a lot of, you know, it was supposed to be more gold. I wish the color could be a little bit more vibrant, but overall, not too bad. These are more gloves. So this is a different type of material on the glove. 
Now, one thing you wanna be careful about with sublimation is with these stretchier fabrics, like here's what it looks like after it was pressed and the color isn't super vibrant, but when you pull it, you just have to be ready for a kid to put its glove on. So that's one thing you wanna be careful and just mindful about when sublimating too, is what material is gonna work good and what's not. Now guys, this is our little elf and this is the little maker who's gonna learn a uh, light bulb. I'm so excited to see it. And look at it, he has a little maker who's gonna learn light bulb. He's our maker who's gonna learn elf. That's stinking adorable. And the sublimation looks really good on this sort of fabric. So that's neat. You could do a name, you could do all sorts of things on that. Now next up, I think a lot of you may have doubted me at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is the big uh, reveal of the toilet paper. I think it turned out really good for toilet paper. Um, so you could, you know, do this as a stocking stuffer or something like that to be pretty funny. I love that. So this is one of the butterflies we actually painted white. So when we do the reveal, look at this. This looks amazing. Let me pull off some of the painter's tape. Holy cow, did this turn out great. So this is one of our patterns from the sublimation course. So if you're loving this and you're like, Tanner, I need to know exactly how to sublimate. I wanna make all these projects. Take the sublimation course because there's like 200 plus free files you get in addition to over 20 training videos to master sublimation. So definitely check that out. I'm very impressed with this right here. So love it. We're just gonna reveal some more. The little baby, the little baby socks. These are adorable. It says little peanut. Oh my goodness. These are adorable. But again, be careful about fabric that stretch because then you won't be able to read it as well. This is the ponytail um, hairband. It did okay. We did the name on it. I wasn't a big fan of it. You could tell the fabric wasn't really meant for sublimation, so just be mindful of that. Um, but that's a good thing to note. This right here is something that you can go ahead and use to put your classes in. This gets like a 10 out of 10 win. This looks so good. Like, it was always there. I, I'm really impressed with that. If you guys wanna pick some of these up um, and do some names on here, super impressive. And then this is one of those microfiber uh, little towels to like wash your face and things. So you can pull this up and you can see that does really well too. So that one's really fun. And then we have, these are probably my favorite. I love, love, love these right here. So look, this is ironing on wood, very impressive. You can get this pattern from Makers Gonna Learn and look at that, so the trees I mean, you could do just a bunch of these and have some matching ornaments for your stockings or, you know, your tree this year. Anything like that would be fantastic. I love these socks. It says, kind people are my kind of people. These turned out really well. Love that. This is a lanyard that we just kind of wanted to give our makers to learn touch to as well, kind of like our little, our little guy. And as you can see, you pull this up and check this out. So it does really well too. Very vibrant colors on here. So you do names, you do all kinds of things. Um, this is another Katie. I wasn't very impressed with this. Two reasons, when you put it on your head, look at that. That does not look fun even if it's not stretched. The colors just don't look super vibrant. Now, the last few are gonna be really fun. We have this one that's a dry erase board. It says, make heaven crowded. And guys, this is a dry erase board. So you could hit press this again on something else because as you can see, like it's on there really well. It just doesn't go on super, super vibrant. So maybe add more heat, test this out some more, play with it, but really impressive. Um, it's a microfiber. Uh, hair, like you put it over your head to dry your hair. So that one's pretty cool. Turned out really well. And then two more. So this one is um, a glitter notebook and I did it really fast um, and it turned out really well. So love this. This is one of the glitter notebooks from the Dollar Tree. So I think you guys 
I've seen these all over. We've put Cricut decals on these before. They're awesome. Now guys, if you see this right here, I only use butcher's paper. This would be a great instance where why you need to use a Teflon sheet rather than butcher's paper when sublimating items like this. If you're sublimating fabric, you do not need Teflon, but if you're sublimating with um, any type of material like this that doesn't have like actual fibers like fabric, great idea to use the Teflon. So good to know and definitely moving forward to avoid that, the Teflon will be your best friend. And then last but not least, I was a little nervous. I'm still a little nervous to see how this turned out. Okay, so not the best. You know, it's a darker fabric we're sublimating anyway. So as you can see, obviously you're not getting a great color quality. Um, it's not vibrant, anything compared to something like this. Like this is a great indicator of what really is well with sublimation and what is not. Um, but we tried it anyway. All right guys, as you can tell, there are some amazing things that you can sublimate that you might not even think are available at the Dollar Tree. For example, I wanna say the baby bibs, probably a solid winner. Next to the baby bibs, I would also say these um, blanks that you can iron on wood with the sublimation. So awesome, I love these. The socks turned out well. The eyeglass holder turned out well too. I mean, a lot of these were amazing wins. So I wanna encourage you guys, head over to the Dollar Tree, find some of these items, find other items that you can sublimate and let me know what you sublimate down in the comments below. We are so excited to see what you guys think of this video, getting to go shopping with us, test out all of this, it's so much fun. So if you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more DIY videos. And hey, if you're ready to tackle sublimation and you're a beginner, our course is perfect for you. Definitely check out Makers Gonna Sublimate, link down below for a special offer only available to our friends here. So have a great day my friends and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye now.